Hi there, I'm John from SandboxRanch.com and today we're going to make the final batch of Custom Rounded Banks version 2. Just a quick recap, in the last video I showed you the first half of Custom Rounded Banks that are redesigned after you have experience of making them and this would be the other half. These are the designs that didn't fit on the other uh, laminated slab that I made, so this is the final half. Now I'm just going to show you, this is a great example of the changes that I made. And you can see this is version 1, for instance, of the X, rounded, and this is version 2. Now this one has a lot more room in it, and you'll notice that they all have a little coin, and this is actually my test coin, because with this I can double check everything sort of fits on the bank, and that tells me any coins you put in there that are that diameter or less will totally fit in there. So the first step with all the banks, again, it's always the same process. Um, there's fine tuning back and forth. Basically, I cut down uh, kiln dried roughs on lumber into sticks, and those sticks are then flattened on both sides. And after that, I could glue that together and make the actually laminated slab that ends up becoming the banks after cleaning up once again. Now the process is the same regardless of the type of hardwood that we use. In this case here, it's hardwood poplar. And we can also do it out of oak, we do it out of, you know, black walnut, any sort of species you could think of, we can do the same process as you see here. And the reason for that, the reason for using poplar more than anything else uh, for making these banks is they're a lot more cost effective. I'm trying to keep things to a certain price point. And of course on the website you can order if you want these in red oak, not a problem at all. You can also, you know, if you want zebra wood, if you want mahogany, you want any kind of wood species you can imagine. Uh, the process again is the same. It's just the costs go up pretty fast when it comes to hardwoods. Another option is you can also go to softwoods, but I don't offer that on the website by default. And the reason for that is although it is cheaper wood, it's not as durable. And my goal with sandboxranch.com, uh, my banks, is to make them generational, make them last a very, very, very long time. That's why I spend so much time sort of designing them in the way that they are, especially these versions here, version 2. Now that I know all the kinks about uh, what can and cannot go right with uh, banks, and you know, I want to have really specific things so that if they fall on the floor, which these do in the shop sometimes or at a customer's house or what have you, uh, they don't just break on you. And that's because they have a very, very, uh, they have a thick, relatively thick half inch backing and they have roughly a half inch all the way around. And especially with the rounded ones, it's almost like the, uh, uh, what is it, the, the Volkswagen car where it's like the Beetle, where it's got a rounded top. Now that gives an incredible amount of strength uh, to a, a bank, let's say, if it's rounded because whenever it hits a shock, it's spread out across a larger area than if it was just a straight, you know, 90 degree bank. And of course the square banks are coming. I'm already, uh, I'm almost done designing them. So that's the next uh, evolution of those sort of versions of the banks. Now what you'll see here is, again, I'm, using, I'm changing tools back and forth and I'm making the banks one at a time essentially. And this is why we can also offer them totally custom. So let's say you want your bank to be 10 inches tall or 12 or 50 inches, you know, whatever you want. Because we're essentially making one at a time, it doesn't really matter. The machine will just do it scaled proportionally. Now, of course, when we make these banks taller and wider, we have to account for the extra material. So that's why they cost more and also the extra production time. That's also why let's say oak costs more to produce a bank than poplar, even though it's roughly uh, the, the same sort of process. And because we, it goes through the bits a lot faster, uh, we, go, we have to go a little bit slower on those ones just to uh, not have too much chipping. Uh, the bits just don't last as long. You know, there's a lot of other things involved with making these banks that might not come to hand, uh, come to mind immediately, but they are there. Now at sandboxranch.com, I decided to come out with two completely different alphabets uh, regarding the design style. And the reason for that is some people like a round one, some people like a square one. Now in this case here, I also had to keep into account that we also, multiple, we also offer multiple species. So if you want your hardwood bank made out of maple, we can do that just as easy as black walnut, as easy as oak and poplar. And that's another reason why I went around and redesigned these banks, because some of these angles and some of these, the aspects of these banks won't actually work with harder woods or softer woods. You know, maybe somebody wants one made out of pine. I could totally do that too. When I was growing up, my bank was actually made out of pine. 
because um, I could put my fingernail into it. Uh, you, can, you could sort of maybe do that with poplar and definitely not oak. So it gives you an idea of to, to the hardness of these banks. Now another thing that I decided to come out with is a bunch of new designs. So here's one of them. So if you were trying to save up your money uh, for some beer, you can now have a beer bank. And uh, that's my idea with uh, sandboxranch.com is to come out with themes for kids, but also adults, you know, things that are fun for bachelor parties and weddings and that kind of stuff. So again, this can be any shape, any size that you want. We can custom fabricate them for you, not a problem at all. But I also like having a variety of default ones you can choose from too. Now, as you've seen so far, there's quite a few processes involved with this. The first process is chopping the, the lumber into sticks, uh, flattening it up, making it all pretty, cutting out the banks with the router. After that, they sort of evolve into the laser, which is where I do the front window, which is what you see here. After that, uh, we do the laser engraving on the front windows as a secondary process. It's just quicker to cut it this way and put the bank and engrave it that way than it is to engrave it while we're cutting it, uh, as I did on earlier videos. And then after that, it's just meeting the two together. Now this step here, this is the first time I make some of these ones here. And some of them have some issues that I noticed right away. Uh, so what I do is I put them aside and I redesign them a little bit here and there. Um, generally they're very, very minor little things that I just didn't notice or didn't uh, anticipate uh, with the routing process or the lasering process. Sometimes I have the holes in the wrong spot. Sometimes I have holes that are too small, too big, you know, what have you. There's a ton of things that could go sort of not right with the router, with the laser, with the lamination. Uh, sometimes I end up with a little piece of rot in the middle of the wood that I just, you know, you just notice when you're carving it out and you're putting it together, but you don't notice it beforehand. So there's a lot of, you know, Q and A before and after and during the whole process of making these banks essentially one at a time. Now, the nice thing about the acrylic is I can get it a bunch of different colors. And that means that that's an easy way to customize your bank. If you, don't want, if you don't want to have your name or somebody else's name engraved on the front or on the back or where have you on it. Now the laser engraving on any aspect of the bank is done at the very last possible moment because you know if there's a problem with the bank, that's rejected. If there's a problem with the window, that's rejected. If there's a problem anywhere else, it's rejected. So only when I have a perfect bank do I go ahead and actually engrave it and then I package it up to ship it out to the customer. Now what you see here is me peeling off the masking. Uh, and the reason for that is because I don't want to scratch it. Now these are, all, I'm taking photos of all of these so I'm taking it off. But again, when I ship these, generally what I do is I take the masking off. Um, and again, they're just screws, so it's just a star screw or a square one. Now I recently had a customer who's a little bit confused as to what we can actually laser engrave onto these banks. Any sort of black and white imagery and font work totally fine, as long as they fit on the bank surface. Now we can engrave the back of it, we can engrave the front acrylic, you can also engrave the, the wood that you see here that's actually part of the bank. So we can engrave that, we can also engrave any flat surface. In this case here is nothing really flat on it, but let's say like the C for instance, you can engrave here if you want something very nice and subtle. Now another common question I get are what are the window uh, sort of tints we can offer using the acrylic. So I'll show them to you again here. A uh, little bit of dust on them just because it's a, it's a shop. So this is dark green. This is smoky. This is yellow. This is light green, which is the same green I used for these ones here. It just comes out really nice on the poplar. This is completely clear. This is blue, light blue. This is orange. And this is red. Now, of course, if you want a different color, we also have acrylic suppliers with a bunch of other colors as well. Now, of course, there's minimums involved because we have to buy all this stuff by the full sheet. They won't sell us a little piece like this.
So I recently updated the website with these new custom rounded shapes. You'll also notice that there's some, the previous ones are still there. And I think that's totally fine. It just shows you the evolution of the banks. Now the latest ones are definitely these ones. So think of it like a, like a Model 3. You know, you bought a Tesla Model 3, uh, I don't know when they came out, what, 10 years ago? Um, and you bought that and you buy a new one today. It's still called the Model 3, but it's been updated every year since, like Toyota Corolla and those kind of things, right? So the generational banks is exactly the same idea. I keep doing tweaks and modifications to them to make them you know, either easier to produce, more efficient, uh, more surface area like I did in this case here. And that's, you know, that's just the way it works. So let's take a look at them one at a time. So here's the X. They're not in any particular order. Here's the S. And you notice each one is completely unique because of the wood lamination. And the wood lamination is done also with the machine behind me here. There we go. This is the big dinosaur. I plan on coming up with a whole bunch of other dinosaurs as well. And there's the O. So as mentioned before, the goal with these redesigns was actually to make a lot more room inside for the coins while st still keeping them roughly the same size. Because although I can make these at any size that you want and any wood species you want, I'm sure uh, if I offered them all in zebra wood or something very exotic like this, you know, they'd be very expensive and very few people can afford to put them into their home, especially for kids. Now the design things I have to be concerned about with this is I want to make sure I have roughly half an inch of material all the way around. This gives it a lot of strength, but also half an inch this way too. Now the reason for that is because if this falls on the floor, and I've had them fall on the floor in the shop, they maybe get a little bit dinged up, but they don't break. Now if you have especially bad children, you can also make the front out of bulletproof glass. And I have done that because they broke the acrylic. And the bulletproof glass is really nice because literally they will never break that ever, no matter how hard they actually try uh, with a hammer, with a gun, whatever, they're fine. Now, if you want to order the banks, they're available right now on sandboxranch.com. You can customize them all over there. Or if it's a little bit confusing for you, just send an email for, through the website and we go from there and customize it however you want.